Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect scrambled eggs because contrary to popular belief, you really shouldn't add water or milk to your eggs. It really does nothing for them except maybe water them down a little bit. The only reason I could see to add something like that is maybe you want to stretch your eggs out and make them go a little bit further but i'm going to show you something you can add to your eggs today that actually will make them lighter and fluffier creamier so i started with 10 eggs that i'm just scrambling with a fork here and then we're going to add in oh about a tablespoon of not a tablespoon about a teaspoon of salt sorry and some freshly cracked black pepper And then I'm going to go ahead and give this a whirl. Then our secret ingredient is actually sour cream. So we want to add in about a cup of sour cream. And then we're going to whisk this together. And then another thing that I really like to add to my eggs is a couple of slices of American cheese. So that's optional if you like cheese. I always add a little bit of extra cheese at the end too. All right, while I'm whisking this, I've got two tablespoons of butter in my saucepan. So that's the other thing I do a little bit different. A lot of people cook their eggs in a skillet. I actually do mine in a saucepan. And you want to cook them over really low heat and I think the saucepan helps with that. So it takes a little bit longer, but the end result is well worth it. So I'm just grabbing a couple of slices of cheese and we're just gonna tear it into little pieces. Again, this is optional if you don't like cheese. Once it gets cooked in here, you really can't tell that there's cheese in here. It just gives it that little bit of extra flavor. And it's gonna melt anyway, so you don't have to get too picky or perfect. So one more. So at the end, we're gonna add a little bit of shredded cheddar. And again, that's optional as well. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a whisk again. Make sure those cheese pieces aren't really sticking together. And then I'm gonna slide my thing back here. So I've got my butter nice and melted. All right, and then we're just gonna pour in our eggs. And I think I got my butter a little, we had some brown butter. <laughs> probably why it smells so toasty and good it has like a nutty aroma to it but it'll be okay and then we don't really want to stir but as our and I think I have this up a little high so we're going to turn this down we want to cook these over low heat and then as they start to thicken you just want to flip them over we don't really want to stir at all so again you want to be prepared to spend a little bit of time here with your eggs but the end result is going to be worth it they're going to be a lot fluffier and creamier and you'll just love the flavor that the sour cream gives them. All right, our eggs are just about done, and this is what we're looking for. So they're still moist, but they're not runny anymore, and they are nice and fluffy. And I'm going to top these with a little bit of shredded cheese, but I think I'm going to wait till I plate up and get ready to photograph it. So, but let's give it a try. So hot. Mm, I got a little bite of pepper in there. It's so good. So I tell you guys, give this a try because if you've never put sour cream in your eggs before, I think you'll really like it. It just gives it a whole different flavor and makes it really creamy. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.